We got us a Walking Liberty Ender. My first find since I come over to Bottom Feed with Scott. Looks like we got us a big old dandy button. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Got us a Benji. Thinking we got some silver here. Oh no, it's not. We have us a walker. We got us a cat bust. I can't make out a year or anything yet. That is awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio and we are back for episode number 22 of the Penny Hunt and Phil series. Excited to get into another hunt, have our albums in front of us, a box in front of us fresh from the bank, and excited to see what we can add to the albums. I will not get into where we stand <clears throat> with the albums as far as looking at them. I can tell you that we have 182 of 265 spots filled. For those of you who have been following along, you know exactly where we're at. Those of you who have not, if you'd like to get caught up, I will have a link up above. Go ahead, click that. Get caught up before you watch this episode. And we're looking for wheat scents, looking for airs, looking for varieties, Indians, foreigns, or anything else cool we can find. Appreciate everybody coming along, and we'll see you on the first find. Roll seven. And first wheat penny of the hunt. Pretty nice looking. 1957D. We'll take it. Same roll at the opposite end of the roll. Same result, 1957D, number two of the hunt. Rule number eight, and we have Wheat Penny number three of the hunt. Number 1948, out of Philly. Rule 16, and we got an older Canadian here. Looks like it's going to be a King George the Sixth. It is. That is pretty cool. And we have a 1950. Awesome. Second Canadian to go with one that I picked up earlier. See what else we can find. Rule 17. And we have Wheat Penny number four of the hunt. We have a 1954 out of Denver. Rule 21. Yeah, it looks like we got a couple in this roll. We have one here and another one right back here. And let's check this one back here first. Yeah, it's looking a little older, a little worn on the back. And that will be a 1944 out of Philly. And this one here in the front. A little bit better condition. And that will be a 1950 out of Denver. Rule 26. And wheat penny number 7. Will be a 1951 out of Denver. Rule 29, and got us a young head. Seen that peeking out here? Canadian. We have a 1963. We'll take it. Hoping for some more Wheaties. Rule 31, and just push this roll down. Wheat penny number eight peeking out back here. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape. And we have a 1942 out of Denver. Rule 33. And we have wheat penny number nine just popped out. Let's see what we have here. This one looks a little older, a little more war on the back. And is that a 1941? It is. And over here we'll check this for the Various DDOs, don't see anything on the date. I uh, do not see anything on Liberty. And I do not see it on God We Trust. All right, 1941 Philly, oldest of the hunt. Roll 34, and wheat penny number 10. And it will be a 1954 out of Denver. Roll 36. And we're going to have Wheat Penny, number 11. Oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. A little more war. And we have, ooh, a 1928, I believe that is, with a mint mark. 1928 out of Denver. 
Nice to see a 20s in the box. Not sure if we need that in the album. I can't remember. But oldest find of the box, 28D. Roll 39. And that will give up wheat penny number 12. Oop. I dropped it. There it is. And it will be a 1950 out of Denver. Roll 40 and wheat penny number 13. It will be in 40s, 1946 out of Philly. Roll 41. Just pulled this out and on the bottom of this roll we have us a wheat scent ender. That'll be number 14 of the box. I'll go ahead, get this opened up, bring you back in, see what we have. All right, there's our ender. Don't look too old, with pretty decent shape. Detail on the wheat ears. And we will have another 1946 out of Philly. Rule 48. And we have wheat penny number 15 of the box. And we have backs in pretty decent shape. It will be a 56 out of Denver. All right, we finally got all 50 rolls of this box hunted. And all in all, it was a pretty good one. We got well over three quarters of a cup of copper, which is awesome. Ended up with 359s. Got 509s. One I may keep. I'll have to see how many of those I have. Four Canadians, the oldest being that 1963 young head that I brought you in for. And we got some possible album upgraders here across the top. Hopefully we can find a spot for them. And our 15 wheat cents, we have 1957 being the earliest or the newest. And we have that 1928D being the oldest, which possibly may fill a spot. We'll see in a few minutes when we get into the albums. All right, been a great hunt. I'm going to grab the albums, get those out. Let's see what we can add or upgrade. All right, we are back with album number one, and unfortunately, we already have a 28D, and the one we found is not nicer than the one we have in the book. So we'll be having no additions and no upgrades in album number one. Let me go ahead and get album number two, see if we can add anything to that one. All right, album number two, 1941 through 1974. And we're going to have one upgrade. We're going to upgrade this 1950D. Definitely uh, much cleaner on the front side. More hair detail. A lot less wear. Swap that out. And we'll go ahead and get into book number three. All right. We have album number three, 1975 through 2013. And we will have no upgrades, no additions in this one as well. So let me... Uh, Go ahead and get our albums back laid out here. I'll double check where we're at. Um, I don't think we've really changed much. Back in just a minute. All right, looked at everything, and we still are going to be at 182 of 265 spots. So we still have a ways to go. Unfortunately, no additions in this one. But it was still a really fun hunt. Found 15 wheat pennies, a few Canadians. And you can't be mad at finding wheat pennies to add to the collection. So, appreciate everybody coming along. Please give it a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next hunt. I can see the sweet sun pouring down.